السلام عليكم أعزائي طلاب المرحلة الخامسة كلية طب وسط أه وأهلا وسهلا بكم معكم الدكتورة أرج صباح أه معنوان المحاضرة هي شولدر ديستوشيا Definition of shoulder dystocia is the need for additional obstetric maneuvers to release the shoulders after gentle downward traction has felt. Uh, also, some investigators use a head to body interval of greater than one minute. يعني شنو معنات shoulder distortion يعني هنا the head of the baby is delivered and there is delay in delivery of shoulder after the head even we use uh, gentle downward attraction so in this case we need additional obstetric maneuvers or as we say that some investigators say that a head to body interval of more than one minute mean that when the head is delivered there are delay of deliver of the uh, shoulder more than one minute incidence about 0.6 percent and result in excessive morbidity for both mother and fetus mechanism <clears throat> usually the anterior shoulder is impacted against what the sensitive of is here as we see there is impaction of anterior shoulder where against the symphysis pubis. This is symphysis pubis and this is anterior shoulder. Posterior shoulder also may be impacted against the sacral promontory, uh, resulting in bilateral, bilateral impaction and causing a problem at delivery, but it is rare. Fatal deterioration is rapid Why? due to cord compression and trauma. Risk factors for shoulder dystocia we have antenatal and intrapartum. Antenatal يعني it is, can be uh, assessed before establishing of labor as in the one previous history of shoulder distortion. A patient had a previous history of shoulder distortion and previous labor. Fetal macrosomia. Uh, body mass index of the mother is more than 40 and excessive weight gain in current pregnancy. Uh, number four, diabetes mellitus, a patient is diabetes. Uh, Post-term pregnancy and number six, multiparity. Uh, regarding intrapartum risk factor, we have lack of progress in late first or second stage of labor, mean that there is progression in the first, late first or second stage uh, is uh, poor. Uh, number two, an instrumental vaginal delivery, especially rotational deliveries. Uh, it's mean when we need to complete labor by, by using an instrument as forceps or ventus. So it's, it's regarded as a risk factor for uh, shoulder dystocia. Also, number three, precipitous labor. Prediction and prevention of shoulder dystocia. Most cases of shoulder dystocia cannot be accurately predicted or prevented. So, plant cesarean section or plant cesarean delivery may be considered for the non-diabetic woman with a fetus whose estimated fetal weight is more than 5 kg to prevent what to prevent risk of shoulder dystocia. Or in case of diabetic woman, and when the estimated fetal weight is more than uh, 4.5 uh, uh, kg or 4,500 uh, gram, or more than 4.250 kg, we so we in, in these cases uh, we. Uh, do a plant cesarean section to avoid risk of shoulder distortion. Diagnosis of shoulder distortion uh, is mean intrapartumly when the shoulder 
fail to deliver during the next contraction after delivery of the head. This means that the head of the fetus is delivered and there will be failure of delivery of the shoulder after the next contraction. Number two, it's sometimes preceded by the turtle sign, which is a head appearing to be pulled back onto the perineum at delivery. Management. Uh, as we say, the shoulder dystocia is very alarming as management should be practiced in a drill type training to all workers in a labor room. The vessels in the fetal neck are occluded after delivery of the head and cerebral damage will occur if delivery is delayed significantly so the fetus may already be compromised due to uh, of uh, prolongation in labor. Uh, after five minutes, there is a risk of cerebral damage. After five minutes of delay, there is a mnemonic helper has been suggested to aid in remembering the sequence. So, age it means call for help, and including additional midwives, uh, senior obstetrician, neonatologist, and anesthetist. Uh, e, letter E, is uh, referred to episiotomy. So, uh, shoulder dystocia is a bony problem. Episiotomy may help with internal maneuver. L is referred to legs and to microbers maneuver, which is a hyperflex at hip with thighs abducted and externally rotated. The procedure is caused what straightening of the sacrum relative to the lumbar vertebra and rotation of symphysis pubis toward the maternal head. So, this will lead to a decrease in the angle of pelvic inclining. That this description of uh, microbes uh, maneuvers. This does not increase the pelvic dimension, but pelvic rotation tend to free the impaction of the anterior shoulder. P uh, refer to suprapubic pressure. Here, as you see, this is suprapubic pressure in order to what? It's applied to the posterior aspect of the anterior shoulder. This is anterior shoulder, and this is the posterior aspect. To what? To dislodge it from under the symphysis pubis. As we see that the problem is what uh, is the anterior shoulder impacted beneath the symphysis pubis. So the superpubic pressure will lead to dislodge of this anterior shoulder uh, from under the symphysis pubis. 8% of babies will deliver with suprapubic pressure and microbus maneuver. These both maneuvers can aid in deliver of 80% of baby with shoulder distortion. Letter E is referred to interpelvis for internal maneuvers. Which include Pressure exerted on the posterior aspect of anterior shoulder to adduct and rotate the shoulder to the larger oblique diameter and is known as Rubin 2. So here as we see, propose we enter the pelvis and a pressure will apply into the posterior aspect of the anterior shoulder in order to what to addict to addict the both shoulder and rotate the shoulders to the larger oblique diameter and it's known as Robin 2 and this maneuver uh, reduces the bisacromial diameter of the fetus bisacromial diameter between the two shoulders if this failed, which is Rubin 2 failed, then 
Pressure is applied on the anterior aspect of posterior shoulder. Here, as we propose that we enter the pelvis, and um, there is a pressure is applied to the what to the anterior aspect of posterior shoulder, and this maneuver is known as whisk cross. If this also fell, so we reverse the maneuvers. Reverse the maneuvers by maybe uh, try it with pressure on anterior aspect of anterior aspect of anterior shoulder. Apply the pressure here from here anterior aspect of the anterior shoulder and the posterior aspect of posterior shoulder. So it's in opposite direction to the crew. So it is known as a reverse with screw. Okay. All these maneuvers when we enter the pelvis and it's known as internal maneuvers, which are robust to was crew and reverse was screw. The last uh, the last one uh, is release of posterior arm. Also, this maneuver we need to enter the pelvis. So, release of posterior arm and it's not as Barnum maneuver. How? By flexing the elbow. Here, we do flexion of the elbow, getting the fetal hand, getting whole fetal hand, and then sweep, sweep the fetal arm across the chest. And face to release posterior shoulder area. We do flexion, grasp or hold the hand, and then we sweep fetal arm across the chest in order to release the posterior shoulder. Roll over to or all force may help aid delivery by the change that brought about in pelvic dimension and is known as casket maneuvers. Other maneuvers uh, which carry a uh, high risk for the mother or the fetus are zavanelli or fracture of anterior clavicle or symphysiotomy. We may need to do it if all these above maneuvers are felt. Now, complications of shoulder distortion. We have fetal complications as hypoxia and neurological injury, which lead to cerebral palsy. Brachial plexus palsy, or what we mm, called it as clampus palsy, and airs palsy, fractures of, of clavicle or humerus, intracranial hemorrhage, cervical spine injury, and rarely fetal head. Sorry, fetal death. Material complication, PPH, postpartum hemorrhage. Uh, also, we have genital tract trauma and may include uh, third and fourth degree of perennial tears. Other considerations in the events of shoulder distortion PPH should also be anticipated and prophylactic measure considered as 40 international units of oxytocin infusion to prevent PPH. Also, genital tract should be carefully examined for a trauma uh, and uh, also careful documentation, the timing and sequence of events, who was involved and what each person did as soon as possible afterwards. So, it's important to explain delivery and discuss outcome with parents after the events. The incident reports uh, form should be full for risk management. Risk management is very important. If injury occurred, 
it may become medical legal issue. So making documentation even more important. Thank you very much. <laughs>